Here we have a customer support dashboard that's hooked up to the database we saw in our last demo. Now that the ticket has been successfully categorized through our AI workflow, it's ready for a customer support rep to work on it. We have this chat between a rep as well as some information on the ticket off to the side. We also have an AI assist button that's linked up to a bedrock model that's gonna generate a response to our customer's question when clicked. And while this did generate a response, it didn't correctly answer the question. Because in this situation, admins can pause their subscription, but they actually need to specify for how long. As a company, we have an entire playbook that reps can use to answer questions like this, but unfortunately, our out-of-the-box AI doesn't have any context into that. This is where the RAG technique comes in handy. Here I have a knowledge base where a playbook is stored, and all I'm gonna do is grab the knowledge base ID and head over to retool vectors and import that knowledge base. I'm gonna call this support playbook and enter in the knowledge base ID. Now we're gonna go back and edit our app to use context from that playbook. We have a query here that prompts our bedrock model with the support question. Now we wanna provide the model with more context and all you need to do is click this use retool vectors button and find your Amazon knowledge base playbook. We're gonna save that. And now let's give that another go. That's much better. It now recognizes the customer's admin status and gives a response that aligns with their policies.